Okay, first of all, uh, let's see the definition of omega in terms of calculus. So omega is the change in angle theta with respect to time. Then uh, we also need the angular momentum, which is I times omega. And we also need torque, which is uh, change in angular momentum over time. So this L and this tau is something that we need to evaluate in part B. So let's talk about part A first, where we need to figure out the units of A and B. So the expression that we have here is theta equals a t squared plus b t to the power 4, right? Um, now here we see that the unit for alpha must be radians, right? Because uh, the unit for, sorry, the, the unit for theta is radians. So this is radians. Now the unit of this t squared is second squared. Similarly, for t to the power 4, it's second to the power 4. So that means we must have something related to radians here to get radians back. And also, we need to get rid of this second squared here and second to the power 4 here to get rid of uh, the time component. So we'll have just radians here. So if we do so, we see that for A, they should have radians per second squared so that this second squared gets cancelled with this and then for b it's going to be radians per second to the power four so that means a will be 1.5 radians per second squared and b will be 1.1 radians per second to the power four all right, so in part B, first we need to figure out L. Um, so L is, again, as we mentioned, I times omega, where I is, so since it's a thin walled sphere, hollow sphere, so it's two thirds m r squared, right? Um, also, um, we know that m is given as 12 kg and r is given as 0.24 meter so using those numbers we can figure out uh, this i right here now what about omega so as we mentioned here omega is d theta over dt let me write down that here as well so that means it's a derivative of time derivative of theta with respect to time so if we do that, we see that uh, we'll have ddt of a t squared plus b t to the power 4. Now the, the way we do the derivative here is uh, first we take this number, the one that's in power, in front of a and for here in front of b. So for example, here it will be 2 times a, then there's t. Then what happens is this power gets reduced by 1. So 2 minus 1 gives us 1. So this is just t. Similarly, for b, 4 gets placed before b. So we have 4b. Then this gets reduced by 1. So 4 minus 1 gives us 3. So that's t cubed. Right. So this is our omega. Now, omega at t equals 3 seconds. Uh, let me write down with a different color. So this means omega at 3 seconds. So omega at 3 seconds uh, will be 128 radians per second. So if we use this number and uh, put these to calculate i, so if we then multiply i with omega, we'll get L. So L will be I times omega again, where uh, if we calculate this, we'll see that this is going to be 59 kg meter squared per second. Okay, so what about the torque? Now we know that torque is dL over dt. 
which can be written as i times t omega by dt and the reason for that is this is d t t of i times omega where i is constant so we take i outside that gives us i times d d t of omega and that's what we wrote here now what about uh, this quantity so we say that this will be d d t of twice a t plus four b t cubed so we'll do the similar thing that we did before so since the power is one here so we two gets multiplied to one which is two so we have two a then t will have one minus one which is t to the power zero so t to the power zero is one so that's why there's nothing there then three will come in front of four so three times four gives us 12 b then t gets reduced by one power so three minus one gives us two so this is t squared right um again we know a b and t t so t at three seconds um then i is all we have already said how to do uh, how to calculate i so if you put i and uh, this quantity right here do, d omega d alpha we see that we get tau or torque as 56.1 newton per meter newton meter so you should do the calculation by yourself all, all you got to do is put a and b and t here for d omega dt and for i you just have to put the mass and radius to get the i so once you know your i and d omega dt you just multiply them together to get the torque Thank you.